My next guest is no stranger to the show, Cheryl M. Brown, the co-director of the feature film Thick. Cheryl, welcome to Picture Lock Thank again. You. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so can you give our, our audience just a summary of Thick and what it's all about? Well, Thick is a movie that was written and co-directed by myself and Anthony Green last year um, about a real estate developer who has some criminal side dealings, and she's actually dealing with the blowback of the recession, dealing with some personal um, dealings with her family and, and some of the people in her underworld who are trying to take her down. Okay, so what inspired you guys to write the film? Uh, the story was actually by Anthony Green himself, and I think he said it came from uh, when the recession hit down in 2010. He kind of thought to himself how it hits all factions of society and wondered how it would actually impact the criminal underworld. So Yeah, and I think that that is an interesting thing because whoever thinks about the criminal underworld right. and how they're doing and making ends meet. Right, they're <laughs> kind of fighting each other. Yeah, okay, so um, I guess one of the questions that, I, or things that I guess I kind of know about it is that it originally was written for a male lead, right? Yes, it was. Okay, and can you talk a little bit about how you flipped that? Because I think that's what really makes the film uh, that much more interesting. I think you're right. Um, it, like you said, originally it was written for the male, the lead to be a male, and one day Anthony and I had a lunch meeting and he just asked me what I thought about flipping it to be a woman, not changing anything else in the script, and just changing the gender. And I was like, well, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Surprise, I didn't think of it myself. But. All right, so wh what are you guys doing with the film now? Where are you going to take it? Well, it's, it's a trilogy. So we've got the first part out. We've got the second two um, movies kind of mapped out and outlined, and we're starting to write those, and we just want to finish out the trilogy of Teresa James and what happens with her and her underworld. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this trilogy. Now, let, let, let me just ask you, it's 2015. Uh -oh. Do you think we're, we're going to see, you know, at least part two by the end of the year or what? Mm, I don't know if that's my call to make, but um, we're getting some writing done. I'll just <laughs> say that. We're getting some writing done. We've got the story mapped out. We kind of we do know what's going to happen in the next two. We'd like to shoot them both together, so okay, we'll see how that works out. Sweet. And working with Tia Day now, that, whew. She's awesome. Yeah, she is pretty awesome. Um, and that one kitchen scene is just, that one gets me every time. That was my time. favorite. That was my favorite. <laughs> that day on set, I remember telling Tia, mm, I'm not sure if I like you today, you know. But which means she was doing a great job on her character. Right. Because she was really mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was a good scene. And, yeah, oh. And she scared half the crew. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, the knife, uh, you know, it, it wasn't real, right? If what I, if oh gosh! Props, props, props. No, <laughs> Let's props. Just say props. I'm not trying to kill anybody. Props, <laughs> right, right, props. Right, right. Um, what uh, I think did you, you guys work with a local um, weapons mm -hmm. uh, organization for film. Can you talk a little bit Brian about that? Brian Stadium Stage Armory. He was he's fantastic. He gave us a lot of um, good pointers. He gave us a lot of good props, the guns, all those things, and he's fantastic. So sweet. Now, you guys do a lot of work under the umbrella of Skyrocket Productions, yes. correct? Can you talk a little bit about the company and what you guys do? Well, Skyrocket does a lot. We're a full service. They're a full service production company. They have also gotten into distribution um, lately. Uh, Anthony's first film, um, The Henchman's War, was done under the Skyrocket umbrella, which is now on Amazon. If you'd like to check that out. Check too. it out. <laughs> you can get big on Amazon, too. Um, and Skyrocket, it's, it's just pulling in a lot of independent films and a lot of independent artists and bringing them together to make some great films. Yeah, that's awesome. So um, are you writing anything uh, right now for the future? Currently, actually, yes. I'm actually in the middle of writing a, a movie about five women who kind of go on a trip together and they talk about love, life, and friendship and... Nice. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty good. It's not waiting to exhale type. No, it's kind of a road tripping. <laughs> no, <laughs> not no no burning cars or anything. No male bashing. It's right, actually right. about friendship, female friendships, and how they can actually clash but still get along and still, you know, be grown women about how they handle things. Yeah, that's awesome. Now you and Anthony are um, no stranger to being champions of the indie filmmaker, especially in the DC. 
uh, Maryland, Virginia area. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely want to get into uh, the Indie Capital Awards, but first, what does a film festival like the Rosebud Film Festival mean to you as uh, DMV artists, filmmakers? Oh, it's definitely a fantastic platform to have um, our work seen, you know, and it's a it's a celebration of the work from the air, from the area of filmmakers. So I'm definitely appreciative. We definitely both of us are appreciative of this honor of being with Rosebud. Cool. So uh, the Indie Capital Awards, uh, you know, you just celebrated some kind of way. I know you just celebrated. I how you know, yeah. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about that? And I mean, also just plug it for um, the filmmakers, indie filmmakers that are watching the show, listening to the podcast. Well, the Indie Capital Awards is the brainchild again of Anthony Green. We celebrated a first year last year. Thank you <laughs> to Kevin for helping us to host that last year. And it was a celebration of all the, um, again, artists and creators in this area, the um, National Capital Region, this whole DMV area. We came together at the Angelica Film Center, and it was a fantastic affair. People came very dressed up. We <laughs> honored, you know, it was kind of the um, Oscars of the Indy Capital Awards. And right. I think we had our fantastic first season. We had a great turnout, and we look forward to this this year. Awesome. Now, uh, to take it back to Thick, you know, with um, the new show on Fox, Empire, have you seen that? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Okay, well, then we can't even discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right. All right, Cheryl. So um, where can people find you guys online, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff? Well, you can find me on Facebook. I think it's just Cheryl Brown. Yeah, Skyrocket is skyrocket.us. You've got Anthony Greenies on Twitter, Facebook, all that other good stuff. I think that's about it. I think that's how you find me. <laughs> awesome. Well, Cheryl, uh, you guys are friends of the show. Come back anytime. Thanks Thank so much for much. coming on. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned for the wrap-up. We'll be right back.